this is Max Farrow from DexEffectsMarkets.com. We're going to be talking about the Dex Atomic here and making it a home business. We're going to talk about the time it takes to be able to do this. In this particular series, we're going to talk about your Einstein window. How much time does it take to actually do the actual physical trades? When to trade and, of course, when not to trade. Before we get started, I have to tell you that I've been working from home now for about 10 years. And it has been a challenge at times and a love at others. And of course, everybody I speak to always ask me the same questions about how long does it take? What does it take to do it? Is it something I don't know if I could ever do that? They all have their own statements. What you need to understand, it doesn't take very much time. It takes a lot of discipline, and a lot of patience, but it can be done. Now, the first thing that I want to talk about, especially revolved around trading, is about creating what we refer to as your Einstein window. This is the time of the day that you would function the best. Now, keep in mind, if you have a full-time job, if you got family at home, if you got all this stuff that you have to do during the day, sometimes your Einstein window may be when you finally sit down after doing the dishes, you know, or when you finally get down and put your feet up for the long day that you've had at work. Whatever it may be, but the Einstein window represents the time that it, you can focus all your energies into this particular project. Not have Facebook up, not have Twitter going, not have Prime TV going, or anything else, but you focus all your energies into one focused window process. And that's using the best part of your day to be able to trade. Now, in most cases, you probably want to know, well, how much time, if I, if I have a window of like an hour, how much time can I trade with? Well, with our Dex Atomic system, we've made it be so easy and so relatively simple that you just need a couple of hours a day to scan the market and be able to look at particular trades that we have on our own system now, okay? So basically, it, it takes like a, a quick market read. We place a trade. We watch the trade to the end. You don't even really have to do that, and you repeat. We're, we're, we do this between one hour trades uh, for the first five minutes at the top of the hour and for two hour trades we have to be inside the trade within the first 15 minutes so that means you got about 50, 40 to 50 minutes to go do with what you want once you make the trade and you scan the market so you're not really sitting in front of the computer for the full hour so there's people that come on board they go look at the uh, at the top of the hour they get into a trade on a two hour trade they get on the odd hour and they make their trades and then they go do the dishes or or clean house or go watch TV or whatever. And then they come back and sit down about five minutes before the top of the hour and start the whole thing again. So it doesn't take very long. Now, the best times to trade is that the market opens up Sunday night at 6 p.m. Nadex, the North American Derivative Exchange, opens up at 6 p.m. on Sunday. And from that time on all the way to Friday at 3 p.m. Eastern, and yeah, they do go a little bit later sometimes, uh, but the suggested markets that I suggest is that if you can, 9 a.m. to 3 p.m. Eastern, 6 p.m. to 11 p.m. PM Eastern, and 1 a.m. to 5 a.m. Eastern. Now, I suggest these times, but these are no way etched in stone. You can definitely come anytime you want to be able to trade. There's only one hour a day that Nadex isn't open during the weeks, and that's from 5 to 6 p.m. Now, keep in mind the 6 p.m. to 11 p.m., there's probably a little bit less trades that are happening because there's certain trades, certain pairs that don't fire off in Nadex during the 6 a.m. to 5 a.m. time period. So you might be only stuck with about half of the pairs that you'll be able to do. Uh, 9 a.m. to 3 p.m. have the most pairs that you're able to trade and have, that I find, the most availability for that process. Now, when not to trade. I, I, this, I can't believe I even have to have this uh, statement, but it's, it's all relative to you, you know, don't trade when you're uber tired, you know, if you don't have the attention span to be able to trade, pause, go, go do something else, go splash some water on your face, go get a glass of water, do something, right, or don't trade, trade, wait for the next day, definitely never trade when you're intoxicated, if you, if you're the person to come home and sit down and have a few beers and see if you can trade, no, I wouldn't do that, this is a work at home process, this is a building, a business kind of mentality, you wouldn't drink during the day, don't drink during this time, and if you find yourself that you can't go the couple of hours without it, then find another process to be into. I don't think this one would work for you so well. Uh, and I say don't trade angry. This is more of a joke to uh, Groundhog Day, you know, don't drive angry. But really, don't trade if you're frustrated, if you're if you're angry at the process or, hey, I just lost a trade. Let me get into something. Oh, I hate this. Why ain't this working? Or if you got, or you're distracted or what have you, or even being too distracted, shut off Facebook, shut your phone off, shut all the other sources out of your way and just focus on trading. 
Now, in this segment, we did talk a lot about the time it takes to be able to do this. It's gonna you're gonna be able to move through this very very quickly and and get into your pace, but it takes time and it takes the energy and it takes patience. My name is Max Farrow. This is the Dex Atomic Series. I look forward to seeing you next time. And as always, trade well. Thank <music> you.